Super D consists of four things. Everyone knows what a music video is. And everyone knows what new... All program. up next. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, do you remember the first day of school when Tracy Miller made a fool out of herself on the morning announcement? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, you guys, settle down, come on. I've got to go to the office, and when I get back, we'll discuss plans for, for this year's video yearbook. Yeah, while she's gone, we can watch last year. Killa, I heard that this year's video is awesome. Yeah, last year's won a national award. And we'll see that this year's is even better. Yeah, let's just all kick back and watch the video yearbook and see just how great it was at Thomas Dale last year. Good idea! Yeah. 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 Let's go, baby! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. This is your life. This is your world. Beginning to end. This is the price of heaven or hope. This is the time. This is your life. Did you guys think that the Haws were a little bit more crowded this year? Yeah, I think it was all those new freshmen we got. Uh-huh, maybe that's why I never seemed to get to class on time. But crowded or not, the Haws always did allow us to see each and every smiling face of Tom Stowe's wonderful student body. Yeah, this is your life, this is your world. how educating our classes were last year? From Mr. Smith's ever-interesting lectures to Mrs. Adams' time writing. Uh -huh. Bless you, honey. <laughs> oh, man, don't remind me. Oh, right. and what about Mrs. Clark's exciting discussions on the works of Stanislavski? Oh, yeah. But we certainly can't forget how they helped us appreciate the importance of attaining an education. Yeah, especially. Yes, especially before we go off to college. And today we're going to roam the halls and find out from some of our classmates what their best excuses have been for being late to class. When all else fails, I can always fake an injury. Excuses, Susan? What excuses? We don't need excuses. We have room pass books. I was breaking up a dog fight and <laughs> boy, this girl is really going at it. I don't need an excuse. My teachers all love me. Rallies you had last year? Sure, and I especially enjoyed it when the football team restored the spirit of our Allen team, Skyhawks. You mean when the football team demolished the Skyhawks mascot in the center of the gym? Yeah, that really pumped up the school spirit for the game that night. Then there was a time when the class representatives had to quickly attach themselves together with string. And who could forget those mega spirited cheerleaders? Yeah, they really got everyone involved in the pep rally, especially the seniors. Yeah. Seniors! 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 Hey, Thomas Dale, what was your most embarrassing moment? Well, it had to be that time that I fell down in marching band and everybody walked on me. Would you believe I came to school with my shirt on backwards and I didn't even know it until my friends told me? Definitely. It was last year for when my best friend sent me a singing gorilla gram and the entire cafeteria was watching me. I'm Workplace computer and typing class is great. Yeah, they really helped me with writing papers and college applications. Too bad they never helped you improve your grades. I really needed better grades in chemistry, Dad. Remember Mr. Moe's exploding experiment? How could I forget? One blew up in my face. Not that I was wearing goggles. Then there was that everlasting search for the mole. <laughs> then it get burned up last year. Well, no one really knows for sure because it's uh, still missing. Things that make you go, hmm. You know, 
guys, we should be really proud of our football team. They did an excellent job this year. Nothing can beat the exhilarating feeling after we beat Holland Springs to clinch the Central District title undefeated. Yeah, yeah and what about our big matchup with Lloyd C. Burry? Do you remember when we sashed away the number one title during the regular season playoffs? Wow. Oh, go, 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 push Get on, get on, go. <laughs> Cross country team received the title, Central District Champion. They sure did. What about the third place finish in the regional? Hey, weren't they the only school to enter the state competition as a team? Yes, great season, guys. Hey, look! Shh. There's the guys' golf team, Team Wolf. Yeah, the highlight of this season was being the state finalists, the Meadowbrook Monarchs, during the regular season. They had a super year. The girls' field hockey team sure has come a long way. Especially since this was only a second year team. Even though we never did get out of practice on time. <laughs> Miss Richardson did an excellent job of coaching. We certainly can't forget our girls' tennis team. Even though their first seed, Mindy Woodenbach, got hurt, the girls were still able to place third in the district. Yeah, great job, girls. Hey, Mr. Brown. You found your gerbil yet? And what about a girls volleyball team? They did awesome too. Oh, did you know that this year was the first year that TD has had a JV volleyball team? I remember when the volleyball team plucked the Skyhawk feathers at their home game. Yeah, overall they had a pretty good season. We had lots of cool things happen last fall. Do you remember our senior group photo? Ah, uh, you mean the senior plus sign. You mean the peace sign. sign. Whatever. And what about Mr. Morris's 200-pound mystery pumpkin? The band, orchestra, and choral groups performed well in their fall concerts. Ah, uh, yes, but this year's fall performance of the Mad Woman of Shia was an excellent one. Hats off to Mrs. Clark's theatrical direction. Forget. There was so much to do that week. Yeah, we had to spend so much time preparing the booths for homecoming night. That we were exhausted when it came time for watching the game. Oh, but we won again with Buck Well, the tailgating party provided a place for us to relax from our busy week. Hey, don't forget the homecoming court. Hey, who could forget all those pretty looking ladies? And there were some really good looking guys, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, there's a town marching band. Which reminds me of that debate that was going on around school as to whether the marching band was a sport or not. It is. Yeah. Let's not argue. Let's talk about how well the band did this year. Didn't they receive the Grand Champion Award at the Pate competition? Yeah, and at the Kikatan competition, the flag team won first place. The band also won two other first place trophies for drum line, horn line, and drum majors, as well as overall first places at other competitions. And That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, my God. All right, how do you confuse a dumb blind? You give her a bag of M&Ms and tell them to put it in alphabetical order. Hey, Lisa, how come you were driving around the block so many times yesterday? Because my blinker was stuck. Why can't blinds make Kool-Aid? Because they can't figure out how to put two quarts of water in that little package. Vroom, eh, vroom, eh. Oh, that looks like a fellow blind at a flashing red light. <laughs> 
still sure has had its share of weird lunches. <laughs> Look at us inhaling all that food. Oh, she's making a weird. Did you see a man shoving her fish in her mouth? And what about those life-threatening eating hunts? Oh. But not only was the cafe a great place to eat, mm -hmm, but a great place to gossip. Mm -hmm. uh, that was good gossip. Hey, she's got a nerve. We're two wild and crazy guys. Live from Thomas Dale. It's Saturday night. Very sexual theme. Welcome to church, chat. Isn't that special? What's the the superior, you little devil? I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And dag on it, people like me. Neenmeister, Nina Rama, making cuffs. You know, there was a lot of action from the box office this past year, so let's find out from a couple of Thomasdale students what their favorite movie was. I'm into romantic movies. That's why this year my favorite movie was The Little Mermaid. I saw a lot of good movies, but the one I liked best is New Jack City. There are a lot of great movies this summer. Hmm, I think Robin Hood was the greatest. <laughs> With leading scorer and rebounder Eddie Shelburne, TD was able to finish off their season with an 11-11 overall record. And who could forget the heartbreak loss to Hopewell in the semifinals of the tournament? Oh. That was a close game. Yeah, yeah and finishing 6-8 and eight in the district is a great accomplishment. Good, Good job, job, guys. guys. Yeah. Even though our girls varsity basketball team didn't blow the competition away, team captains Susan Tarkington and Jennifer Jones did lead the team in spirit. And who could forget leading scorer Kim Jones, who held the record for most floor bruises and scrapes. This season, our girls' gymnastics team placed first in districts and regional and second runner-up in the states. With their experience and grace, Lynn Dameron, who placed ninth in the nationals, led the team to a triumphant finish. two seniors on the team, the indoor track team placed third in the district. They sure did have a fun-filled season. Yeah, but what about all those long bus rides? And don't forget the snowball fights they had at Virginia Tech. Upsetting J.R. Tucker to start the season proved that our Bajubas were fired and ready to go. But Sonny Carter, who was seated first in the regional tournament, placed fourth in the state. Y'all, what was your daily routine all this year? Well, I started the day off by smashing the alarm clock for waking me up. Can't forget picking out clothes and fixing my hair. How about scarfing down a bowl of cereal? Then there was that bumper to bumper traffic in the school parking lot. And once at school, the learning process begins. And you know, my day always ended with a good book. Not. <laughs> Although cool outside, this year's homecoming dance boomed with sizzling energy. Students from all grades gathered to enjoy the music, dance, and social opportunities. Not only does Thomas Dale have an excellent academic program, but as a vital part of an education, TD also offers many vocational classes. From power tech to wood shop, students were learning, building, and preparing intensively for the future. 